Hey everyone, today we're looking at our dual port serial sniffer. I've said it many, many times before, if you're doing embedded design, your board is almost guaranteed to have some UART level basic serial input and output that you can use for debugging or status. So up until now, like I've said again before, that we're stuck with these. We have to have RS-232 level signals, we have to have some sort of translator on our board. If you want to sniff a line, if you want to actually look at the transmit and receive lines together, you need two of these, right? 30 bucks a piece. Not very convenient, plus all that translation. What we've come up with is the perfect solution. So right here we've got dual uh, USB to serial through FTDI chips. So you can plug two serial ports directly into your computer with one single device. And then we've got a way to break out several of the, uh, or both lines and in several different ways. Okay, let's take a closer look. All right, so out of the box, you get the device itself. So nice and tiny, doesn't take up a lot of space. You get two micro B uh, to USB A serial cables. So you can plug directly into your PC at that point. And you get a stash of these handy little uh, pre-configured box connector cables. So six of, six of those that you can use with the device. Okay, so let's check this out really quickly. Very, very simple to use. Plug in your cable. Okay, you've got a blue LED, which is my favorite power indicator. Uh, so you know your, your serial port is actually active. Let's plug in both of these here just to show it off. <coughs> the Ports here just correspond to this side and this side, let's call them one and two, and they're basically the same. So both sides have FTDI drivers, totally isolated. We just use single chip drivers um, so that those signals are totally isolated. FTDI is probably the best chipset out there for uh, USB to serial that you can buy. The best part of this is the output connection. So we have both uh, 100 thou headers here that you can attach wires directly to, and then we've got it's just spring clip connectors that you can put in other cables as well. So they're labeled on here. You've got your RX, TX, and ground. If you wanted to connect into your target, you can do this in any way. Uh, if you want to use one of these box connectors, you simply tap it on there. Uh, this connector you could attach to a probe or a piece of wire or anything you want or do a wire wrap on there. Uh, if you are designing with this in mind, you might have these little pins uh, in place on your board as well. So you can simply connect into that um, and instantly get an idea of what's going on in your serial sniffer. And of course, if you just have bare wire, you can use the connectors here just to slide a wire in uh, and connect to anything that you want. Now, the, you might ask, well, why do you need these different configurations? And if you truly want to sniff a serial port uh, and in a non-intrusive way, uh, you have transmit and receive lines, but you can't attach just transmit and receive from one serial port to there because the transmit out of here will load down the line uh, on that uh, on your target board. So if you just want to be looking at what's going on on a particular transaction uh, pair in a serial connection, say a, between a microcontroller and a Wi-Fi module or something like that, then you would use both of these. Uh, obviously you need to bring ground through. Ground is connected here so you could bring one ground through and then look at the, use the RX line on this one and the RX line on that one and connect those to the RX and the TX lines on the target board and that way that's a high impedance looking into this device so you'd be able to have two serial windows up on your computer and one would be the transmit line on the target and one would be the receive line. So a really universal device. We created this because we had to have it. Uh, using standard serial uh, to USB connectors just was not a good option. We had this crazy um, breakout of hardware to try and get that to work and we said uh, why is there just not a dual solution like this. Uh, remember these are all UART or I guess CMOS levels so 0 to 3 volts um, so I'm not going to plug into RS-232 levels um, but you don't typically have that on a board because you, you would need a, a translator anyways. So this only works from 0 to 3.3 volts um, or you know with, with a reasonable 2.5 to 5 volt um, range in there as far as uh, compatibility goes. Uh, but it really is a handy tool. Uh, we've got these all over the office and we use them uh, endlessly uh, in a great deal of our number of our designs. So we hope that that helps you out in your development. Check it out.